Welcome, welcome. Turn that music down there, DJ. <laughs> you got it. Amazing, Amazing Grace Sports Network coming at you again. We're going to talk a little bit about the Patriots and our new co-host, Mr. Nicholas, is going to lead off on it. Talk to us, brother. The Patriots. Um, most winningest team, I, I believe, as far as championships go in football. Um, I'm 28, so that's all I know and all I've seen in my life, honestly. Uh, that man right there, the great. <laughs> great Bill Belichick, to, uh, the Brady jersey in the back, the goat. But, uh, what I know about them, I can honestly say is, for me, it was torture growing up an Eagles fan and having to live in Boston. Uh, wow. It was, yeah. It was tough. And my dad was a Patriots fan, so. He's just smart throwing man. In my face every yeah, smart every man. <laughs> <laughs> he kept the energy in the house. <laughs> yeah. And for me, it was just disappointment, disappointment, disappointment. But it was beautiful to see how the city was and how the city reacted. And uh, going to a bunch of uh, parades it was really cool. Probably never going to do that again. But <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not, not, no cool. time soon. You may do it again, but no time soon. No time soon. It's um, all good. Hey, we had the heydays of Steve Grogan. Remember Steve Grogan? Oh Play? my gosh! Oh yeah. my gosh! Yeah. Yeah. Not me. Steve Grogan, uh, Hugh Millen, Drew Bledsoe. Is it led up to that? Um, the Patriots. The Patriots. You know, it, it's. It's apropos to see where they are now. There was a time when the Patriots were the bunglers of the NFL. As a matter of fact, they used to have this show called NFL Bloopers. And in the NFL bloop, bloop, Bloopers, half of the bloopers were about the Patriots. Wow. Yeah, they were that bad. It, we had a saying here in uh, Patriot land. They used to be the Boston Patriots before they became the New England Patriots. But uh, we had a saying here that they could snatch – Defeat from the jaws of victory. <laughs> That's how That's bad true. they were. Wow. And, and, and Mr. James can back me up on that. That's how true. You you always expecting something to happen. They were a lot like the, the, the Eagles that you used to watch and you were hoping that they would win, but somehow they were going to find yeah. a way to lose. That was the Patriots. Um, Parcells came here, and uh, with Parcells, they went to the Super Bowl, and um, they lost to the Green Bay Packers, and you know, that's, that became the connection of how Belichick comes here because during Bel while he was here in New England, Belichick got fired in Cleveland. And so Belichick came here for a period of time and was introduced to Kraft. And then uh, they, they, you know, whatever, got to know each other. And then Parcells, well, he left right the, right after the Super Bowl. As a matter of fact, he made... Right. He he Parcells made he made quit. He quit, he quit. In the Super Bowls. He, he you right literally stopped Bowls. coaching. And actually he made the arrangements before the Super Bowl was happening. It got out that he was leaving the Patriots to go back down to New York before the Super Bowl was even played. <laughs> this is how dysfunctional the Patriots were at that time. Goodness. Yeah. But he, he literally stopped coaching that game. He just let them do whatever they was doing. So <laughs> they, they lost. Yeah. And and he goes to the New York Jets, I believe it is, and Parcells goes with him. But uh, that, the connection that that Kraft and, and and Belichick made, Kraft wanted to get him back up here, and eventually he does. So um, everything's not working out like planned, though. His first year, he was five and eleven, and it's with the same defense that he would have when Tom Brady gets there. Now they go zero and three. The next year, but that's the, that's the game that Bledsoe gets knocked out and Brady comes in. But from then on, uh, something started clicking. And I think Mr. 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 James brought on something in one of our last sessions when he says, when your offense plays well, your defense plays differently. Okay? Nobody was calling that Patriots defense great until Brady started winning. Yeah, that fire got to start at the offense, and it works its way true. down. It works its way down. 
The thing with Bledsoe is he was huge, a big boy, but he couldn't take a hit. He'll he'll curl up every time somebody gets near him. And he and he had an arm on him too. He had a real nice arm on him, but to get him to stay in that pocket and throw, it just wasn't happening. Now Brady no. came in hungry, extremely hungry, and he played like nothing we've ever seen before. Nothing we've so, ever seen before or since. He yeah. was throwing the ball before the receiver turned around. He knew exactly where the receiver should be. So when the receiver turned around, the ball was hitting him in the hands. I'd never seen that before in my life. Yeah. 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 Yep. Driving the whole team down there. We didn't know too much about the guy, but he was a winner at Michigan, and he beat Alabama in the Orange Bowl in his last year, senior year. This sure. guy was already a winner. Yeah, This guy was already had that drive. He was just waiting for the chance to get in. and But he wasn't going to get in. See, if things had gone according to everything else, they would have finished out that season maybe six and nine. Okay? And by next year, Belichick would have been fired. And... The reason why Belichick actually drafted Tom Brady was nothing that he saw. He relied on this guy who was called his, the guy was called Dick Rebain. He was his quarterback coach. And he said, you got to get this guy Brady. You got to get this guy Brady. You got to get this. He pleaded with him. He, he begged him. And finally, with his last pick, his ninth pick or eighth or ninth pick of that day, he says, that guy Brady, just draft him off the board. He's still there. Since he's going to please his quarterback coach. That's how he becomes a Patriot. It wasn't anything that Bill Belichick saw. He never he never watched a tape of him. So he looks up on Brady and he keeps Brady because he's the cheapest option. Because he gave Drew Blesso a hundred million dollar contract in the offseason. It's amazing. Some things just work out right. And they so, did. So Brady paid she he played for pennies his first season. Pennies. But he was determined to win. He had a determination beyond any other quarterback out there. He had a determination to win. And like you said, mm -hmm. he flew his – when he became big time, he really started digging in and flying his his receivers in and doing private sessions with them. So they got to know each other. You know, then come Gronk, you know. So uh, Deion Branch, I mean, Oof. the list of Deion names Branch. go on and on. And then we got uh, Randy Moss that one year. Randy Moss. You know. The the best hands you've ever seen in your life with, oh with, 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 with sprinted speed. But why did he leave? about the building. The and this is on the back end of his career. Yeah. And then then, uh, then our boy uh, Bilicek blew up the DeMoss situation <laughs> and let him go. Like, are you kidding me, man? I have I had a friend that, that was driving limos back then. He drove Moss from the private airport in Providence to Bilicek's house. And he said uh, Moss went there and didn't speak to nobody the whole dinner. And because of that, Belichick got rid of him. <laughs> well, he was mad because Belichick wouldn't pay him. Yeah. Yeah. Belichick, why are you going to fly me in to, to come to your house when you ain't paying me? You want me to make an appearance? And that's, that's more Belichick drama. But what we're saying is that everything changed in, when, when this guy Brady came along. Belichick was not that guy. Brady made him that guy. His bad decisions was going to doom him. He gave Drew Bledsoe that $100 million contract. Drew Bledsoe was his horse. He was riding that guy into the sunset until Mo Lewis knocked him into the sunset <laughs> and changed everything. That is what changes everything. Brady is the guy, and nobody knew that, especially I think you're only, what, 28? So you, you don't know all that before that. Yeah. Not at all. So then going to the Super Bowl, he benched Gray, the running back. Was it for being late, Clay? Yeah. He benched him for well, they, being late. They didn't even make the Super Bowl. They 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 crapped out. Let's just put this up there. They crapped out in the AFC championship because Belichick uh was playing, you know, games with people's money and their livelihood. And the guy who scored four touchdowns for him, he didn't even play, he sat him on the bench. He did the same thing with uh what's his name? Um, Malcolm. 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 Yeah. Malcolm. Yeah. He didn't want Malcolm to get a big. And, 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 and to this day, people say they don't know why Malcolm. Malcolm came out two years ago. You guys don't know because they kept it hush hush. He said uh, he wasn't going to resign me, but I was going to be able to command a certain market price on the market. You know, when I hit the market as a free agent at the end of that game. So he didn't play me. He didn't play me because he didn't want me to have a good game. He wanted the value of my marketplace to go down. The value of his his value he wanted his value to go down on the marketplace. 
That's crazy. That's, that's so vindictive and so petty. You lose a Super Bowl because you're trying to knock down a guy's value? Bill yeah. Belichick. That's Bill him. Belichick. That's him. He's been getting away with this for a while. He traded away Dion Branch, one of the best receivers at that time, because he didn't want to pay Dion Branch money. Richard Seymour, Mike Vrabel, yep. Ty Law, yep. all of them. Anybody who, want, who wanted to ask for, hey, you know, you want to pay me something? To find a way to get rid of him or trade him in mid. So one more stigma. So when it came time for Brady in his final seasons, he asked for a low amount of money, and he denied him. I don't think Belichick ever offered him a contract. If we if we deduce it and we actually boil it down, from what. Belichick said we never could reach an agreement when Brady's only asking for $25 million. What do you mean you can't reach an agreement for $25 million? Yeah. He, he, he never offered him a contract. Now, you know, if you work in that type of business, you can only stay when somebody offers you a contract. If they don't offer you a contract, you have to go. He tried to do it to, to Brady five years before that. He didn't offer him a contract then, before they won the last three Super Bowls. It's either five or six years. He tried to get rid of him then, but Kraft went around him and be signed Brady. Yeah, and then he proved himself one more time. One more time. Walked, it was always him. Away. Walked away. Nothing to do with Belichick. Now we see Belichick at one and five, and people can't understand why. Me and Mr. James understand why. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the tale of the Patriots or the Patriots way is really the Brady way. It's what we're, I guess, what we're trying to say. And Brady still does not, it's all the accolades and rewards he's got, they're really not enough for the guy. We've seen him win so many games coming back in the fourth quarter behind. Yeah. And I'm sure you have too. Of course. But Seriously. We, we had a different perspective. See, you thought that was normal. For him, you knew it wasn't normal. The guys. Right. We knew it wasn't normal. We we knew it was something different. That that uh, I was laughing my butt off when, when when Brady walked away from the team and and Belichick went out and got Cam Newton. And then nobody knows this, but a year before, Cam Newton, uh, they were asking you know Belichick about uh, what he thought where, the, where he thought the NFL was going, and he mentioned that he he would like to have a guy like Cam Newton as his quarterback. Nobody saw it coming. He had been planning this all along. When it blew up in his face, though, he blamed Cam. Yeah, but Cam came here injured. He was already in, you know. Well, we knew of, that. Everyone yeah. knew that Cam was injured. Yeah. Belichick knew it, too. Yeah. That's why he, he barely he, paid him. Yeah. I, I know. He, he, $1 million he screwed, contract. He screwed Cam over royally. Yeah. Screwed him over royally. And then ran him out of town. Nobody knew that Belichick had actually set it up to get rid of Tom to get Cam in. Hmm. That was his whole, that was his whole, that was his machination. He got him in, he was gonna pay him cheap. He was gonna ride him like a horse. And he was gonna, he thought it was gonna work out. Except, you know, Cam, Cam was a shell of the guy he used to be. And now Judon's hurt. So it's like. Well, Judon may not come back. Cause you know, after that restructuring of his contract, now he's out there, he should have been taken out of the game. All them guys should have been taken out of the game that game. Cause he was losing anyway. He should have yeah. pulled their starters out of there. They shouldn't have been in there long enough to get hurt with like they did. And he's probably thinking all that through this time around. Like, yo, we're losing, having a losing season. Why should I rush back? And hopefully this, they're smartening up to this because th this guy's done this before. <laughs> he'll, he'll play you. He'll play you to the wheels fall off you and then he'll trade you. <laughs> he did that with someone <laughs> else. It was a running back uh, a couple years back. Sonny Michelle. Yes. Michelle, yep. Sony Michelle. He screwed, he screwed Sony Michelle on this rookie contract the same way he did Mac Jones. There's supposed to be a certain pace where, where it's scale that you give him. You, you can give him the very low end, which is what he did to Mac Jones. All his contemporaries are making 10 million. Mac Jones is making 3 million. He screwed Sony Michelle on this rookie contract because he tells him, listen, you've been hurt. So he did the same thing to Gronkowski. He likes to get him when they've been hurt in college and say, well, I'm only going to pay you so much. Your deal is this. You can either take that or wait to next year to go back in next year's draft. So, of course, they're kind of screwed. They take the money that Bill Belichick is offering, which is the bare bones minimum that can be offered. 
And then when he runs the wheels off you like he did Sony Michelle, he trades you. Yeah, he want he wants you to, he wants you to leave here injured. <laughs> yeah, you don't you, you know he'll get rid. Yeah, but anyway, anyway, as we see things are coming around, the chickens are coming home to roost. <laughs> they sure are. <laughs> You're laying a lot the of eggs. Hey, Sony Michelle, we recognize you, but baby, we recognize what you did. You you did you know what you gave it. You gave it, man. And Richard Seymour, Logan Mankins, um, all of you guys. Um, Ty Law, the Jonas Gray, yeah, on and on. We recognize it. us, the, the real fans. Recognize you gave it. All right, you didn't get the accolades; so they were giving it to the coach, but it was you who was making it happen. <laughs> Mister Mister Nichols, anything you want? To, is it Nichols or Nicholson? Nicholas. Nicholas. Anything you want you're, to say in closing? You 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 ending the closing. So whatever you want to say. All right. Um. Get rid of Bill. Um, <laughs> no, no, but seriously, I don't know. Something needs to, to really shake in Foxborough for them to do something. All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Amazing Great Sports Network. We'll be talking about the Patriots. We'll see what happens next week. It might be another episode of As the Patriot Turns. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We're out of here, you guys. We'll see you later. Have a good week. All right.